guys, when you guys were growing up, did you guys ever have the same shoe and then you just <laughs> we wore actually each other's shoes? We never did. When I was trying to look for new shoes, I tried her, but absolutely hated them. <laughs> really? <laughs> and we so, have the same feet. That's yeah. so funny. Yeah. So you guys have the same feet, but you have yeah. different preferences. Yeah. So this is proof, you guys. Yeah. Identical twins, yeah. identical feet, two different yeah. preferences. Yeah. Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. I'm fitting at Milwaukee Ballet today, and as you can see, I have two twins with me who is part of the company. So this is Marie, and this is Elizabeth. Did yeah. I get that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and they both are artists at the Milwaukee Ballet and I love fitting sisters because it's so interesting sometimes they're exactly alike and they end up in the same shoe but more often than not you guys are like in completely different shoes so I'm really interested in seeing what type of shoes you guys are in and what differences you guys have between each other. So I wear Freed Studios or Maple Leaf Custom. Maple is usually a little bit flatter on the platform so it's a little bit easier to balance in, yeah, but a bit wider too. A little bit huge, wider. Yeah, than the classics. Yeah. So yeah. that's exactly right. So classics are a little bit rounder and deeper like this, but it's a little bit narrower. Yeah. And the maple leaf is like if you like squash down a classic, that's what the shape of the maple is, and yeah. it's a little bit flatter. And so, they're harder. They're usually a bit harder. Exactly. Yeah. And they're really really hard. So this is probably this, this is the like hard a, one. Yeah. So yeah. this is rock hard right here. I can barely yeah. bend it, but. You made a little yeah. incision there. Yeah, so what I do with mine, I a lot of people do this, but I darn them and then they uh, come half and then I just, you know, shave out the rest of um, here and yeah, they're bendable. It's, it's rock hard all the way up until that point, the arch, and then she customizes it to be softer and then she cuts it. So she shaves off a little portion. This one's the classic, the or the wing block. The wing yeah. block, uh -huh. and I, um, I'm kind of still trying to find my Cinderella slipper, even after you all know, these whatever. years. Yeah, yeah. but um, I do really like this one now. It's um, the same thing, three quartered. I um, shave the back off and darn them and jet glue the tips before I even start. Uh -huh. yeah. And so far I like them. The one thing I do did do the these trials, I think I um, cut down the sides and that really helps my foot because one foot is different than the other. So um, what I think my right side is a little bit higher than my um, the left. So it really keeps me from sickling. Yeah. And I was growing up, I never knew why I, flat shoes I didn't sickle, but right when I put my shoe on it, it sickle. And it was because of um, this reason that um, one side needed to be lower than the other. Oh, interesting. I've had um, dancers tell me that they jet glue more on one side than the other so that they don't they have the same problem of sickling or not and then there are some dancers that actually order two different sizes so it's either a quarter size or a half size difference yeah. so you can just customize one side so it comes up a little bit higher if you don't want to order a custom and wait 12 weeks to get them then you can always just sew down the fabric on one side as yeah. well so that's a good tip if you tend to sickle maybe it's because the fabric is too high on one side and then you sure. can customize that I wish I would have known that whatever, <laughs> 10 years ago, yeah. it has really completely changed yeah. the shape of my foot. That yeah. little bit of fabric yeah. makes all the difference. Uh -huh. So when you are in the regular classics, you're in the triangle maker? Yes, triangle. So you darn as well. You guys darn a little bit differently. Yeah. yeah. Or at least it looks different <laughs> Yeah, we do. We do. We do. We do. Yeah. Okay, but both of you um, sky yep. this yeah. part. Yeah. And then, and then do you we pretty just, much just stay in the maple leaves? Yeah. Okay. I'm always. Yeah, yeah, I love them. And then you're She's still experimenting. Kind of yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's between these and the blocks now. So I'm kind okay. of like one show. And I the wear, maple leaves. Yeah, and the maple leaves. Yeah. So one one show I'll wear those, one show I'll wear those, one show I'll wear hard. Okay. Blocks. So. so do you wear different shoes for different things that you do? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. tell me what you wear for which one. So now if I'm doing more classical, I would probably wear um, my blocks just because I like, can balance and they're a lot more sturdy. Supportive. And, yeah, supportive. Where my, um, uh, my creeds, I can really, really roll through my feet, especially when I'm doing something um, that's more um, temporary. Yeah. And um, I, I enjoy that feeling more. So we'll see how long our point shoe lady can 
puts up with me. <laughs> and a lot of ballerinas do this where you have a shoe for certain variations or certain oh, yeah. dances mm -hmm. because you do better in certain things. So that is interesting. So the block you feel a little bit more supportive, it's yeah. sturdier, it's easier to balance, so like pause gray, exactly. like classic, yeah. and then like all of the roll through um, show off your feet type of dances exactly. you use the free. Yeah. Freeds are I think the easiest to, to break down. To break down. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't even need it. I wear them one time and they're good to go. Yeah. I draw a circle around the tip of the shoe. Mm -hmm. yeah. All around. You don't I don't do it too close, but not too far. Uh -huh. And then I put uh, this is really good. This is a really good tip because you know how yeah. most people they'll just eyeball it. Yeah. Yeah. This keeps you on track. This saves is really time. good. Saves time Lots and of effort. Time. I like that. Yeah. So you draw on your yeah. little guideline. And then I put, um, uh, I use my old point shoes and take out the string and put it around to have like, so it creates a platform. And then, then I use a little, I don't even know what it's called, but I get it at Walmart. And you stick it through the point shoe make a little hole. Yeah, make a little hole so it's just easier. And then go through. And then you just keep doing that around the entire shoe. So you really pre yeah. like hole it mm -hmm. and pre-line it before yeah. you do before anything. Before I even start. And then keep going. And then so you doubled it. Right? Yeah. So I doubled it. Uh -huh. And I go through the hole that you yep. made. Through. Brilliant. Yeah, so it's easy, so you don't have to like stab yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I can get on board with this. Yeah. It's like nice and neat. Yeah. And it also gives you a nice like edge. Exactly. Yep. It's a yeah. really nice edge. It's efficient. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you go next one, and then you wrap two circles around. Oh, you do two? Yeah. And then pull it through and tighten it. I've seen one other dancer do something similar to this, but really? she used like a little piece of ribbon really? instead yeah. of the elastic, but yeah. this is good. This is easier. I yeah. It's like it's cleaner. Clean. Yeah. yeah. And then you just do it all the way around the whole shoe. Let's cut it. That's quite a bit of it's a lot of work. manual. Yeah. No wonder you don't want to go through yeah. shoes every exactly. day. <laughs> yeah. But it, it it keeps them longer the mm -hmm. box. And then you go through it after you're done. And so you, you make, go vertically. Yeah. And then you go back and then and skip one. So it stays down. There. So it locks oh. everything in. Huh. And then you just make X's. And then that's really good. It's pretty secure. Mine's never. Yeah, come it's off. never gonna come out. Yeah, yeah. And it's a good platform. Yeah. So. Okay. So I did. Yeah. So I did notice that yours is much thicker yeah. than yeah. yours. Yeah. So how do you darn so yours? So what I do is I same thing. First, I'll go around it with a pen. Do you do it right at the edge or just go um, a little bit lower? Right at the edge. So you do the edge. You go a right little below. bit lower. I go right at the edge, and then the edge is my middle, so I'll um, first um, have the scissors. And you use different thread, too. Yeah. yeah. So you really use wool, know. probably. Yeah. This, uh -huh. this is like a wool, and this is like a darning thread. So yeah, it's a yeah. thicker thread, and yeah. this one is like fluffier. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it depends on what you like as well. So this um. is really cool that you guys are doing. <laughs> so I always just cut about an arm's length. And then it should. I go um, around my shoe twice, and I always start on the um, right front. So I'll just okay. go, or right, yeah. Um, I don't use um, that little elastic thing, yeah. or and the elastic. The I'll elastic. just um, puncture it with my needle. Uh -huh. So all I'll, I'll do is go up. So this is probably a more normal way. More, maybe more people do this this way. Yeah. So this is more what up. I normally see. Yeah. And then. Make a loop and then thread it through and pull. And then I'll just 
just go do that all the way around twice. I do go around uh -huh. twice. And, and it stays pretty well. Sometimes um, it will stick and it will come off if I'm doing a, you know, a rep with lots of pirouettes or whatever. But it mostly stays. And by that time, the shoe's already dead anyway. Um, so it, it works really well. Around and then knot it. Cool. Yep. And then you just do it twice. Do it twice. And okay. Then put a knot at the end and cut it off and good to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so twins, two different point uh -huh. shoes, <laughs> and two different ways of preparing your point shoes. Mm -hmm. um, you just have to kind of experiment and figure out what you like. Do you put tape on the bottom of your shoe? Yeah, just duct tape. Duct tape. Yeah. Just I rip off. I usually rip off the, the um, sock liner. Yeah. yeah. And it just um, it gives me blisters for some reason. The liner. So I just rip it off and put tape. So the sock liner is the little liner that goes in the bottom of your shoe. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Yeah. It can be fabric or leather. And some people just end up taking out the sock yeah, liner and taping it down. But see how like it's kind of floppy and it like gives you like a little platform. Yeah. So if that bothers you, you can get just duct tape and yeah, just, just completely it. See, just rip it, out. it just comes off. Rip it out and and then I'll probably these blocks haven't been cut, but I'll probably just three quarter. They're already they are somewhat cut there, but I'll cut off the top layer and it's a lot more stable. Yes, so, and then you sure. just tape it all down. Tape it down and so it, it doesn't give me blisters. Perfect. Yeah. That's probably like the flattest you can get yeah, your yeah, shoe yeah, to be. Yeah. Okay. So I think we pretty much covered it. Thank you so much yeah, for showing you. me yeah, it. Thank you. Thank you.